So in rhythm games that uses lines or bars, do you hit on the line or do you hit above the line? This is a question that I've asked before on Twitter back in 2019 and I remember getting pretty mixed replies. So yes, I went to test 12 different rhythm games and here are the results. Note that I didn't test games that use arrows, circles or other shapes because it's pretty obvious for those that you hit on the shape receptor. On the line, above the line, on 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 the line, above the line, on the line, above the line, above the line. This means that 67% of the time, you hit on the line. And that's it, that's the end of the video, thanks for watching. Yeah, no, just kidding, I still have some things to clear up. For Quaver and also Mania, they are actually pretty skinnable and customizable games, so that means that you can actually set it to whatever you want, on the line or above the line. So saying that it's above the line isn't completely accurate. But I'll say that my observation of above the line is based on the default skin and the most popular skins that are used on those games. And also, it's based on how skins work. The games themselves draw the hit position of each note at the bottom. So unless you use a skinning workaround, it'll always be above the line. Also, another thing is that you're not supposed to watch the note fall from the top of your screen to the line. You're supposed to keep your vision at about this area and read patterns. Watching where the notes land is bad practice. So uh, what's the point of this video? <laughs> I don't know what was- Okay, but like, despite what I just said, seeing where the notes land is actually kind of important. When you're used to notes landing above the line, like I was with Osomania, your visual reading gets a bit messed up when you move to games that go on the line, like 2DX. But there's no way you can change this, right? You just have to get used to it? Well, you can actually change it if your game has visual offset. But what is visual offset? Well, before I can explain what the heck that is, I have to give some context. Oh boy, it's time to talk about my favorite part of running games. Offset. Alright. So first off, How what is my... Offset? Offset is a setting in any respectable running game. This helps you compensate for any lag your device has. And on your device, I there are three different my... points that could cause I lag. There's I'm audio latency well. from your audio devices or drivers, there's visual latency from your screen, and then there's input latency from your peripherals. When there is latency, your hits won't be in time with the game. Most famously, also has a pretty insane audio delay on Windows. This is because of the audio engine it uses. It's also based on what sound card you use. And that's why most of the time, Mania players who don't use hit sounds set their global offset to about minus 40 to minus 45 milliseconds. Listen to how the sounds of my key taps are earlier than the music when I use zero offset here. Some cards like mine are even worse and go up to minus 50 or 70 milliseconds. So yeah, to fix this, you just change your game's offset. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, there's still more. Basically, from all the games that I've played and observed, I noticed four different kinds of offset. Oh man, strap yourself to your seat and grab a drink. Because hell, this is a convoluted topic to explain. Massive warning that all the labels I call these offsets and what I say about these are what I've personally observed and what I call them. This is from what I see as a player, which means that I actually have no idea what's going on behind the scenes in the game itself and what the game actually does to adjust the offset. So take this entire video with a grain of salt. And if I've gotten anything wrong or missed out on something, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so even though I said there's four different types of offsets out there, most games only have one or two offset options. So which kinds of offsets are they using? They are usually using one or two of the four offset types. And how do you know which offset type they're using for sure? Well, you have to test those yourself and no, I'm not going through how to test those offsets in this video because boy, this video is long enough already and this topic makes me want to die. Anyway, let's go back on topic and talk about the first offset type that changes where the positions of the notes land on the judgment line. Visual offset. This is the offset that helps compensate for screen latency. This offset moves where the notes look like they are, but not the actual note positions. Most games nowadays don't have this setting because screen latency isn't as big of a problem as audio latency. Though on games that do have this setting, it's usually because they are console games where you would use a TV, like Taiko Switch. 
The Taiko no Tatsujin web version also has a visual offset setting. But that's because it's a web game. So yeah, web browsers can be pretty laggy visually too. So yeah. If your game has massive amounts of delay, the notes appear way later than they are in-game. To compensate for this, you set your visual offset earlier to get the note position to line up with what's happening in-game itself. This means that if you use visual offset, you can set your notes to be hit way before or way after the judgment circle align. You can see it happening on Quaver here. The thing about visual offset is that it does not change when to hit notes according to the music. So don't use visual offset to fix any timing issues or audio delay issues. It's only used if you suspect monitor lag. And that's basically it. But since I've talked about one of the offset types already, I should just go over the rest too. So let's talk about the next one, audio offset. This is the second tile offset and is the most widely used offset. Like I said earlier, most games only have one or two offset settings. Chances are, it has audio offset. Audio offset shifts the sound of the music earlier or later. It's purely audio, it doesn't do anything in the game visually. So let's take for example that your speakers have audio delay. Since it's playing things later than what's actually in the game, what you do is you set your offset earlier to compensate for that. You can also use audio offset if the chart is out of sync with the music. Some charts in community run games have this problem where charters or mappers don't set when the music starts at the right time. But at the same time, it also be could be because people perceive when to press the beat a bit differently from each other, so offsets can vary. Akaya, Lenota, Vandori, Kalpa, and Quaver use this offset. Does this mean that also uses this offset too? Well, I don't actually think so. This is a tin foil head theory, but I think also is the only game that visibly uses this third kind of offset chart offset. This is like audio offset, but instead of moving the audio backwards or forwards to match with notes, you move the notes themselves to match with the music. This is different from visual offset, where on visual offset it moves where the notes look like they are, chart offset moves the actual notes and the visuals. The time the music starts playing in the game is the same, but when the notes start is different. Why I think also uses this method is because if you set your offset late enough, on some songs where the map song plays immediately, you can quite literally see notes teleport backwards while it starts. It is the most distracting thing ever and I hate it. Especially if you're playing at a high scroll speed velocity like Osu Taiko with Hard Rock. Essentially, chart offset does the exact same thing as audio offset. Because the results to the player is exactly the same visually and in practice. So yes, massive warning that I can't really tell if the games that I think are using audio offset might actually be using chart offset because there's no way I can tell. And I also have no idea if chart offset actually exists. But then I saw figures call as offset chart offset so it might actually be a thing. But yeah, that's the third kind of offset. Let's move on to the fourth and last one. Judgment offset. Also known as input offset. This is the offset that helps with input delay. This offset works similarly to visual offset. But instead of moving where the notes look like they are, it moves where the judgment line is. But note that it doesn't change where the line that you see on the screen is, but the actual line position that's invisible. This means that if you set it early enough, it'll be way above where the on-screen judgment line is and the notes will be hit above the line instead of on the line. To explain how this helps with input delay, I'll give an example. If for whatever reason your keyboard or controller keeps hitting 10 milliseconds later, you can set the judge line 10 milliseconds lower so that by the time your keyboard or controller sends that input 10 milliseconds later, that input will be sent on the new judge line position. This way you can help combat input delay without messing with audio offset or your visual offset. Games like 2DX, Sound Voltex, Unnamed Sound Voltex Clone, Demo, Taiko no Tatsujin Switch, and TGA Player 3 has this kind of offset. So you can set your notes to be hit above the line instead of on the line. But the thing to note is that it's still an offset. So if your keyboard or controller has no delay and you set it earlier, your setting hits earlier than the music. So don't use judgment offset to just set notes to be hit above the line. And the other thing is that even though the end results look somewhat the same between visual offset and judgment offset, they are two different things. Visual offsets will help move notes to look like where they should on a laggy screen. Judgment offset can't help with screen lag at all. And like I explained earlier on what happens when you use judgment offset when your input has no delay, it's actually a thing you can use to help with audio offset. So yes, you can use judge offset to help with audio problems. On TJ Player 3, yes, this is not a bar game, but it does use judge offset and my offset kind it needs to be set really late. And boy, that does not look correct. It actually kind of messes up my visual reading when I go to the arcade, because in the arcade, I don't need this kind of offset. Like, I, I, I don't know, I hate it. I wish this was like Taiko no Tatsujin Switch, where I can adjust my visual offset as well, because I would be able to just shift the on-screen notes backwards with a visual offset. But this game only has one setting, pain. And that's the four offset types I experienced. 
there might be more or less. All in all, everything might sound really confusing, but just know that even though all the offset types I talked about earlier are different and help battle different things, they all ultimately do the same thing. They help make things that are not on time, on time. You can use different offsets to combat different problems. But just to go back to what the video started with, if you want to change your notes that's on the line to above the line, just say your visual offset earlier. But if your game only has judgment offset, I don't really recommend changing that at all. Of course, that's unless if you're able to change your audio offset as well. Oh boy. Using two offsets together to achieve different things is, is really complicated. So offset is just confusing in general. Games just like to call offset offset and sometimes even change what offset names they use. Like Sound Vortex uses Sound and Draw. Like what the heck is that supposed to mean? Like games ever tell you whether plus makes it earlier or later or minus does. And some games like flip this around. And by the way, why is Osu's global offset flip from local offset? I don't understand why. And why in general in games don't explain what their offset is and what their offset does? Why can't everything be like Taiko Rotasu and Switch where everything explained right there? God, I hit offset. What has this video become? Just hit on the line.